Hulk Uh Oh, what's going on here? Bit of T flip flop action. Um, this is going to be a feature that we've got here. I'm going to be going through a uh, different logic gate every video, how to build it, applications, all sorts. I've had loads of questions um, on this stuff. People aren't getting them to work, having problems, etc. So hopefully I'll be able to clarify any problems in these little videos. Um, today we're going to start with T flip flops because that is by far and away the most asked about um, of all the logic gates that I've had in the comments. So um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Variations of this standard one here. We're going to build this standard one here as well. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Ding dong, here we go then. Um, doing this standard T flip flop. So we start with hole in the ground with a torch in it like that and then on top of the torch you're going to put two blocks high and then you're going to put one out to the side like that and um, this block here is going to be the one that moves with the pistons so we can add them now sticky pistons um, like that and like that so you've got three blocks there and then pistons facing each other on the edges like that um, then torch and a torch so the torches are powering the pistons basically now you've got to put redstone here i think this may have tripped some people up um because this is your input so you have to have um these two torches connected by a common power source basically so that is crucial um and that is pretty much it done now what you've got to do is have your inputs and your outputs um so inputs, which I also think might have been tripping people up, um, look a bit like that. So a block with a redstone just leading up to power this dust on the top. And then you can put a button on a block like that. And it will switch over. Um, as you can see, fully functional. Now your output is obviously there uh, into whatever you want. Do a piston for now. Um, so that piston's just going to toggle on and off like that. Um, now, what I think may have been tripping other people up, other than not putting redstone here, is um, mixing up your inputs and outputs. Is you know you can have your output on the same side as your input, so you could have wires coming out like that. But as you can see, they're cross talking, um, which you do not want. So you can separate that like that. Um, and then use repeaters. Um, if you didn't know, repeaters don't cross talk, so you can put as many next to each other as you want. So the that wire and those repeaters won't interfere with each other then. Um, so you can have your input and output on the same side um, as the T flip flop. You can, in fact, have two outputs, as you can see, um, off that one block there. So. Yeah, that's it. I think that probably hopefully clear up um, any build issues people have with the old T flip flop. Um, you can also do variations of that. So you can have alternating output uh, where you put two torches underneath. If you can see that there, I'll just show you that. Um, if you want it to perform two tasks from one push of the button, basically. Um, so you add, just add another torch under there. So in both positions, the block uh, is going to be receiving power uh, like that. Um, and then, like I said earlier, you need to have repeaters to prevent any crosstalk happening. So uh, if I put a button on, you will see that they swap signal like that. Um, alternating output there so that's that can be quite useful um, if you've seen my retractable stair uh, wave video at the bottom there's a button which you press that performs two actions it closes the stairs back and it also opens the door in front of you and this is what I use to do that so at the moment say this output here is the stairs being open 
and then the door is closed because this is powered off. But then you swap it over, and then the door opens, and then the stairs close. So you can kind of have multi-function off of one T flip flop there. In fact, you can have three functions essentially. Right, let's just talk about uh, multiple inputs. Um, as you can see, you can pretty much run as many as you want. Uh, I have covered this actually in my basic logic gates tutorial. Um, yeah, as long as your signal is going to reach these two bits of redstone up here, um, you can have an input. So the kind of thing I use this for is if you've got your secret door, uh, you press a button, it opens the door and then you run through and you've got another input here that will close it again. Um, so you can wire them all over the shop and uh, still be able to affect the T flip flop without having to add in all sorts of crazy logic gates like you would if you were using a lever or something like that. So um, yeah, that's that really. Um, as per usual, I'm going to include the world save. Um, so you can come and have a look <clears throat> at all these variations here, um, these being one wide, uh, which are super useful actually for, for more advanced circuits definitely. Um, so come and have a look at them if you think you might need them. Um, and then there's another really nice little compact one here, which is uh, something I saw on Minecraft Addicts channel. Um, it's a little bit smaller than the other one, um, not much smaller, but because it's dug down, it's nice. It only takes up uh, six blocks above ground, so that's really good. And then just for continuity, there's an old non-piston T flip-flop, um, which you can see is pretty big, uh, so we don't really use them so much anymore. Um, so yeah, that, that sort of T flip flops really. Um, so thanks for watching.